<laughs> so already the narrative is running wild that the reggae girls should get more money than the reggae boys. More corporate support, more government support. They probably need to get their statues built before the reggae boys. Yeah. <laughs> and look, on the face of it, we are reluctant to go down that road. But now that the girls have qualified for two consecutive World Cup tournaments, while the reggae boys have qualified once 25 years ago and don't look like getting back there anytime soon. <laughs> Considering that Jamaican football fans and the sponsors and the government and the entire fraternity all love only winners and the girls are proving to be winners. It don't reach the USA levels as yet, but it can be argued that the reggae girls are positioning themselves to make the claim for the lion's share of the funding available to football in Jamaica. The reggae boys could not get a single dollar for their failed World Cup campaign. But I am willing to bet a few maverick dollars that a sponsor or two or three government and private sector are lining up to partner with the World Cup bound reggae girls. I met you. Yeah. <laughs>